mold-prone bathroom cabinets, low-quality hardwood flooring, cleaning products that you can get at a dollar store instead. The Home Depot definitely pulls its weight for construction supplies. Other areas? Not so much. Home Depot has a generous 30 to 90 day return policy for most items in the store, but you have to scroll way down the page to learn that you only have 48 hours to discover any issues with your major appliances. According to Home Depot's return policy, before a customer takes an appliance, such as a fridge, dishwasher, or stove home, it's their responsibility to look it over. This includes both appliances bought in the store and those being delivered. If there are any issues, they should refuse the delivery or purchase. If you do accept it and find a ding or malfunction once at home, you have 48 hours to call the brand. This leaves a lot of confused and frustrated buyers who didn't read the fine print on their purchases. People may have received a defective product, had incorrect measurements, or had any number of issues that may not even be discoverable until after the 48 hours are up. After contacting Home Depot customer service, hundreds upon hundreds of consumers have reported customer service representatives who would not replace or refund the items. Check out consumer protection agencies like Consumer Affairs with first-hand accounts. If you are looking for hardwood flooring, specifically non-native woods, beware of ordering from Home Depot. The pest informer's home service expert, David Floyd, told Best Life, softwoods and exotic trees are more susceptible to termite damage. Your chances of receiving unsound planks are higher when ordering from big box stores due to the quality control process, or rather, lack thereof. As with many of the products Home Depot sells as a go-between for the consumer and wholesalers, the lowest bidder often gets the green light, and quality can be compromised for the sake of expediency. Because of this, you could be stuck with rot or even active infestations. Retailers that specialize in wood flooring tend to be a lot more attentive in checking for signs of pests, and you're more likely to get a much higher quality product for your money. When it comes to Home Depot's cabinetry, don't expect top quality bathroom vanities and shelves. According to one DIY and home repair expert on YouTube, the sink tops are typically durable and attractive, but the cabinet builds are low quality and made using subpar construction methods. The laminate coverings on the faces soak up humidity and tend to blister. Often, particle board is used for the drawers and backings, which is terrible for humid environments like bathrooms since it invites mold. Also, drawers are attached with tiny brads, plastic brackets, and staples, instead of more firmly fastened with dovetails. Bottom line, if you are looking for quality or a reasonable price, shop around before committing to the easy answer of home centers like Home Depot. You might not have a choice if your budget is limited, but you might be able to find something longer lasting if your finances allow it. With so many brick and mortar and online stores specializing in small appliances, Home Depot is pretty low on the list in terms of wide selections and competitive prices. You won't usually see them on the shelves, but occasionally they will slip in an aisle cap with convenient deals to encourage impulse purchasing. While there is no argument that the home improvement store does wonderfully well specializing in building materials, tools, electronics, and so much more, you'll still find your best deal elsewhere. According to Insider, your better option Option is at a retailer like Bed Bath & Beyond or online at department stores for a broader range of brands when it comes to smaller appliances, likely with better customer service if you hit up one of the brick-and-mortar locations. Hi there, is there anything I can help you with? We're just looking at these pans. Well, that one is a great one. Stick to the chain specializing in these items for the best selection and prices. Carpenters tend to shy away from Home Depot for doors, windows, and trim due to the variable customer service, CBS News reports. If your measurements are off and you need to make a change or a placement, odds are you will not be speaking with the same person you worked with originally. This can create delays and return issues. Instead, lumber yards and stores specializing in windows and doors will have experts on hand who have the skill and commitment level necessary to guide you through the entire process. Having someone you can call directly that isn't a general assistant covering many departments saves time, money, and a royal pain in your hindquarters. Suppose you found yourself with a broken faucet handle or shower nozzle and you need a particular bolt or washer to replace it. In that case, chances are that you found yourself in the hardware aisle at Home Depot, staring at the rows of various washers. 
How often has a staff member been at hand, ready to help you find the right one? Do you often have to flag someone down or spend eons digging through bins to find what you need? Unfortunately, it's a common experience at Home Depot. There's a good reason why many local mom and pop stores haven't gone out of business after the boom of major box stores. It all boils down to proficiency and excellent customer service, as per CBS News. You'll likely pay 10 to 15% more at the local hardware store, but it would be fair to say you will quickly find an expert that can zoom you straight to what you are looking for, and they tend to stock what homeowners need. Expertise is the name of the game in the case of basic hardware items. With a staff member that knows the job and the products, rather than a basic general knowledge of a huge chain store, you are more likely to find exactly what you're looking for. Home Depot has limited offerings for household decor items like wall hangings, picture frames, rugs, and furniture. Like in most big box stores, you will find mass-produced items low in quality, but not necessarily low in prices. If you are trying to spruce up a wall with something attractive and engaging, Insider recommends sites like Wayfair or Hayneedle for specific artistic finds. There are also great steals at stores like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods. It is also important to add that mass-produced art plays a distant second fiddle to the creative endeavors of local artists and craftspeople who sell their own designs at fairs, farmers markets, or online websites like Etsy. Supporting your artists helps sustain communities, express our values, and bring about cultural awareness. If you have your heart set on a piece you saw at the Home Depot, it's reasonable to bet you can find it elsewhere for cheaper. If you're looking to add aesthetic appeal to your home, you are likely to find far better options almost anywhere else. Home Depot has a generous one-year return policy for trees, shrubs, and perennials, but this perk does not include other plants. If you are a gardening newbie, beware of these plants' health. According to Best Life, they're often shipped from varying climates and may be very stressed, even though they look good in the store. All plants are treated the same in terms of care, despite different needs. Because of that, they can be hiding serious issues, overwatering, root rot, and exposure to pests, you name it. So don't be fooled by the appearance that all these plants are particularly loved. We have this special one called Snowflake. There is a wonderful, borderline magical difference when you walk into a garden store that dedicates its entire business to caring for and maintaining vegetation. If you want to know what kind of ivy is best for a traveling lifestyle, if you're worried your corner doesn't get enough sunlight for that beautiful potted tree, or if you are the type that forgets to water for months on end, there's an expert that can find you the perfect plant. The best time to buy plants from Home Depot is within the first couple of days of the floral department's opening, around spring. If you find yourself seeking flora and fauna off-season, give local plant stores a try. With plants specifically for your climate, they employ experts who can help find the best greenery for your area and home. Brand name household cleaners in Home Depot could come with a markup when compared to Target or Walmart prices, according to a report from Money.com. Budgeting expert Andrea Warrock backed this up, telling Realtor, you'll pay 5 to 10% more for name brand cleaning products at a big box hardware store. Walmart and Target offer better deals on the same brands, plus even cheaper generic alternatives. You can even find no-name cleaning brands at the dollar store for rock-bottom prices. It's tempting to stock up if you happen to be at Home Depot for other items, but this inclination could cost you quite a bit over time. Brand names are not always better. It is far more cost-effective to go generic for these items, especially considering that the ingredients involved are virtually identical to the pricier brand names. Home Depot's options are also limited in terms of selection and environmentally friendly options. For your own DIY cleaning fix, check out common hacks that involve natural ingredients, such as vinegar and baking soda, to save time and money. When grilling season hits, there's only one thing you can do – grill. While popping into the Home Depot, it can be tempting to grab a set of spatulas or tongs to go with that great deal on the gas grill. But as with the other items that are better priced at specialty or bulk stores, you won't find great prices on grilling accessories at Home Depot either. Online shopping seems to be your best bet with items like these, as reviews are readily available and pricing is much more competitive. As with all products, do some due diligence before you make off-the-cuff impulse purchases. The Home Depot is great for many items, but grilling accessories and many other things are simply just filler, and they're at a convenience markup. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more House Digest videos about your favorite shopping tips are coming soon.
Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.